Earlier this episode, you saw the armed suspect with the knife charge the officer. Well, that brings to mind an interesting drill called the Tuller drill that says the average person can cover seven yards or 21 feet in one and a half seconds. All right, even though I shot him and got good hits on him, you can see that he still got to me with his momentum, which means if he had a knife or some sort of cutting tool, he could still hurt me. So this is why we need to think about being able to shoot on the move to maintain distance between us and a possible threat. All right, shooting on the move. Now, when it comes to shooting on the move, there's lots of ways to do it. We're gonna talk about three basic ones. First, we'll talk about moving to the rear, simply creating distance to a target that's charging us, or we just wanna get away from it, it's stationary. First way we'll talk about is with my strong foot, if I had my gun out, my strong foot, I would simply step to the rear, plant it, that way if there's a rock or a step or something like that, I won't fall over, because I still have a base up here in my front leg, my support leg. Then I'll simply drag my support leg and then simply repeat. So I'm moving to the rear, but I always have a foot in contact with the ground and I'm not as prone to fall over. The second way to do moving to the rear is a little faster, but it's a little less stable. And that's simply to put my feet in alignment with the direction I'm going, bend the knees, and simply walk backwards toe to heel, like so. Just like so. Nice and smooth. Everybody's seen a marble roll on top of a glass table? That's what you basically want your head to do. It should move nice and smooth. The final way we'll talk about is laterally. We'll, we'll talk about the sidestep method. So here I am, I need to move lateral to a point. I'm simply going to step in the direction I want to go and then bring my other foot to me. Step, bring, step, bring. Very simple. These are not complicated techniques, but they will definitely go a long way to keeping you safe, creating distance from a target. All right, so we've talked about how to shoot on the move. Let's put it to the test against the charging target. Stop! Now, I've got more distance. Maybe he didn't make it to me. Let's try another technique. All right, now you can see I've made it a lot further. Now, although that technique is a little less stable than the first one, that extra distance might just make the difference. Stop! All right, there's lots of techniques out there. Don't let yourself get stuck in just one or two. The biggest thing, the most important thing, is to remember to do your handgun homework.